What's up YouTube? So today I want to do a video about setting goals and living on purpose. But before I get started, please do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell too while you're at it. So you can be notified when I upload a new video. So one thing we got to understand is that certain things affect our lives. They affect our lives and they start affecting the decisions that we make, uh, and which ultimately uh, affects the and dictates the path that we take in life. One of those things is environments. A lot of times, sometimes we find ourselves in environments that aren't taking us anywhere. We can't usually see past those environments uh, because we don't have a big picture in mind. We don't have that big vision in mind. So start being aware of your environments. Another thing is events. Um, we're so caught up on the current events because we have cell phones, we have social media, um, we wake up, we check our cell phones, we get updated with the current events on Instagram, on Twitter. Uh, a lot of times that those that that news comes through on social media sites before it comes through on the TV news. Another thing is goals and desires. Now, out of these three, the most important thing that we want to affect our lives is goals and desires. Those things we can have control over. We can. You know, we can set those goals, we can set those desires, and we can have control over it. So we want to start having control over our lives, man. We don't want to just make a living. We want to design a life. So that's the goal. That's the plan. So like I said, out of these three, the most important is goals and desires because once you have these goals and desires, they start acting as a magnet. And they don't not necessarily act as a magnet, but they enable you to start making decisions based on those goals and desires. So it's important for you to have some type of goal, some type of um, some type of vision pulling you towards the future. So one thing you have to do is have a plan, man. You got to start writing this stuff down, start journaling, you know, uh, you know, where would you like to be? What would you like to become? Who do you, you know, who do you see yourself as? And, and a good way to do that is to vision yourself 10 years from now. You know, a lot of lot of um, a lot of self help gurus and entrepreneurs tell you to um, you know picture yourself um, you know ten, twenty, thirty years down the line and start working your way backwards. You know what I mean? So uh, you want to see yourself ten years from now. What do you want to be? What do you What do you want to do? And um, you know, you got to have a big enough reason why. Why do you want to do it? Why do you want to become this person? Why do you want to live this life? You know what I mean? It's going to take a little soul searching. It's going to take a little figuring out, you know, who you are as a person and your values and, you know, um, you know, your morals and stuff like that. But, you know, like I said, it's it's a journey. It's going to take hard work. It's going to take a lot of self-discipline. It's going to take a lot of transforming your mindset. But, you know, in the end, it'll be worth it because you'll be living the life that you design and not uh, living the life that's, you know, presented to you not living the life that everybody else is living you know or the life that's 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 on social media that you know that you know you wish you can live so like i said one thing you want to do is start imagining yourself 10 years from now and then you want to work your way backwards so you know a lot of times these goals they look so big that you know we don't feel like we can achieve them and a good way to do that is to break it down. Break it down into five-year goals. You know, what can I do in five years that will add to this 10-year goal? And then break that five-year goal down. Break break some five-year goals down into three years. Break some goals down into three years. What can I do in three years? That's going to take me to the goal in five years. You know, and then break it down to one year. What can I do in one year that's going to get me to that goal in three years? You know, and, and break it down as small as you can where you can you are able to take achievable action. You know, you want to take action where you feel that you can achieve, uh, you know, those goals, however small you break them down. You know what I mean? And then uh, another thing is, another thing is, um, you know, you want to start figuring out, like, like I said, you want to start figuring out who you are and, you know, what's your major purpose for, you know, for being here in life, you know, 
Um, are you here to inspire people? Are you here to, you know, help people? Are you here to, you know, um, you know, lead people? Whatever the situation is, is you know, you're gonna have to start figuring out who you are as a person. Um, so yeah, that's all I got for now, man. Just to recap, um, um, you know, the most important thing is having goals and desires. You know, get a big picture, get that big ten-year picture. Start breaking it down into uh, you know smaller goals, smaller achievable goals, and and just stick to the plan, man. Stick to the plan. I mean, the plan the plan can be changed. You know, it's not gonna you know everything's not gonna go according to plan. Even people that write business plans, it doesn't go according to plan. But you have to keep the big picture in mind. You have to keep the main goal in mind. That's why it's important for you to have a strong why because. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna take hard work and discipline man. All right, that's all I got for you Like I said, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell if you guys got any comments go ahead and uh, um, Go ahead and comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, peace